Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday, Junior. Today we'll hear about today's warmth, prom, student council, class of 2019, and class of 2018 meetings, sports in action tonight, and Alice asking some questions. But right now, let's send it over to Ivan for weather. Good morning, Frankfurt High School. It's currently 34 degrees. At lunch, it's going to be 50, and at 3, it's going to be 59. Uh, today, there's going to be a high of 62 and a low of 43. There's going to be a 0% chance of rain today, so don't worry about the rain today. It's going to be sunny all day, so back to alley day. Thanks, Ivan. Class officer sign-up sheets and student council applications for the 2018-2019 school year are available outside of both Mrs. Isgrig and Mrs. Hale's rooms. Anyone interested in running for a class officer position must sign up on the sheet and fill out an application. Applications are due by Monday, April 30th. Prom tickets are on sale now in the bookstore for $25 per person. Each student needs to have a signed permission form before purchasing a ticket since the dance is at Purdue. Don't wait until the last minute to get your tickets. And be sure to have your school ID with you to be admitted into prom. If you need to purchase a new ID, you can see Mrs. Debris in the, in the main office. And for $2, only two, she will print a new one for you. Class of 2019, a Life Touch rep will be here during community today to discuss senior portraits that will be taking place on May 8th through the 10th. Any teacher in the building can help you sign up. All freshmen interested in joining Learning to Lead, Nancy Elsie will be in the FHS cafeteria during community on May 1st. Sign up in Student Services to attend this meeting. Strides for Stacy is Saturday, May 19th at 9 a.m. Register by next Tuesday to ensure that you get a t-shirt for the event. Registration papers are available in the bookstore. Seniors, be sure you're filling out the Who's Who and Wills and Memories Google Forms for the senior edition of The High Life by tomorrow. The 40th annual Flora Hog Dog is Saturday, June 16th. The registration fee is $20 and registration will close on June 13th. There will be a mandatory Class of 2018 meeting in the auditorium during community today. <laughs> Applications for the 2018-2019 DECA leadership team will, are due next week. Stop by the DECA room to pick up an officer application if interested. <laughs> the varsity baseball team lost to Noblesville last night 10-1. Luis Hernandez pitched well out of the bullpen, tossing three scoreless innings. They are traveling North Montgomery tonight, and the game will be starting at 6 o'clock. Although that was the only sports news to report today, there are a ton of games tonight. At 5, the boys' varsity golf team will be hosting Crawfordsville. At 5.30, the girls' varsity softball team will be traveling to Northmont. At the same time, at 5.30, the girls' varsity tennis team will also be traveling to Northmont. The boys and girls track teams will be hosting a four-way meet at 5.30 as well. And again, at 5.30, the JV baseball team will be facing off against Western Boone. That's it for sports. Now to Dallas Ask. I'm here with Mr. Guardi. What do I need to do to win the, the call run? Well, to win it, uh, well, you probably need to do a whole lot of training, but uh, as far as just to run in it, the uh, good thing about a color run is it's more of a fun activity where you just run and kind of have a bunch of colorful, not paint, but like dust, I guess you say, kind of thrown around and um, you, know, you just get it all covered all over your body. One thing I probably would suggest is try to wear all white but if you want to get extra colorful. So start white, you end with, you know, basically look like a rainbow. All right, thank you. Alan Gadget today or Gillian? Mm hmm. I'm here with Mr. Potts, and, he, and, I'm, and I'm here to ask him, what do I need to do to win the, the call run for Strikes for Stacey? What kind of training do I need? Well, 
as soon as every other competitor sees that it's you, they're going to give up. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. No, really, it's just for fun. Okay. That's why they call it a fun run. Can we get gaudy? <laughs> yeah, we can, but I have a question for you. What? Best superhero, Superman or Batman? I know the answer. Batman. No. Batman beats Superman. Batman's not a superhero. He he's a man that has a belt and devices. Superman has superpowers. How can you call Batman a superhero? He has contingencies for everybody. What? I, I read comics, so I know this stuff. Okay, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Back to the city. <laughs> I've always wanted to ask you that question and never put it in. Batman or Superman? It's gotta be Superman. It's gotta be Batman. Thanks, Dallas, and be sure you join Dallas and sign up for Strides for Stacey by May 1st. Also, Mr. Payton's community is to head to Mr. Spension's room for community today. The bookstore will be closed on Friday and will open again on Monday. That's all for the daily announcements. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow for the best day of the week. <clears throat> this has been a go to guidance and sign up for first period next year because we need the students to get perfect attendance to run the announcements. We're missing lots of people and since we're trying very hard to give everyone good announcements on HGTV next year. So just go into guidance and we need you. Thanks everyone. That's all for today. We'll see you tomorrow or later. You know, eh. production. <laughs>